Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the A-level maths content for the first year. Here we're working on equations of straight lines, so you can answer questions from exercise 5c and 5d. So, just a little recap from what we learnt in the last video. Um, the equation of a straight line looks like y equals mx plus c, where m is representing the gradient, or how steep our graph is. For every one we go across, we're going to go up by that gradient amount. And C is where we start on the y-axis. Now, the equation that's above here is a way that we can work out the gradient of our graph given two coordinates. Coordinate number 1 is represented as x1, y1, and coordinate 2 is represented as x2, y2. Now, make sure you get all of these numbers the right way around uh, when you use this formula. Right, OK, let's go through some basic problems to start with and then some more problem-solving ones later on. So, find the equation of the line with gradient 5 that goes through the point 3, 2. So, pulling out the key bits of information, here we have a coordinate at 3, 2 and an, uh, a gradient of 5. So, what we can effectively think of this as is the x-coordinate at this position is 3, and the y-coordinate at this position is 2. And we know that the value of m is 5. So effectively, what we've got here is this formula here, where we know three of the values, uh, we just need to find c. So what you can do, and what you can always do, is think about a set of coordinates as values of x and y. Now these x and y values can change depending upon where you are on the line, but it is a set of values for x and y. So what we do then is we set up a little y equals mx plus c formula, and we just substitute these values in. c is the letter we don't know yet, so we'll work that one out. So we plug all our values in, we take the 15 over to the other side, and we get c is minus 13. Now the question here is asking for us to find the equation of the line. So the equation of the line is going to be y equals mx plus c, where m is the value 5, and we've now found c, so that's minus 13. So we write out our final answer as y equals 5x minus 13. And this is the graph that we're looking for in this uh, question here. Just a little recap, this graph is going to start down at minus 13, and for every one value we go across, we're going to go up by 5. So the next coordinate here is going to be 1 minus 8. The next coordinate is going to be 2 minus 3. And the next coordinate is going to be 3, 2. Just like it is here. Okay. Right, so let's move on to the next question. Find the equation of the line that passes through these two coordinates. OK, so what we're going to have to do now is bring this rule, or this uh, formula, in to work out the value of m. So what we're going to do then is we're going to set, it looks like, this coordinate here as coordinate number 2, and this coordinate here as coordinate number 1. It's really important you get the numbers in the correct positions with these. This is coordinate 2. So we first need the y-coordinate for coordinate 2, so that's a minus 1. Then we need to take away the y-coordinate for coordinate 1, that's 7. The, x co the, the second coordinate x value is going to be 3, and the first coordinate x value is going to be 5. So we plug them in like that, and we're going to get some double negative action happening here. And then cancel all that double negative out, and you get m is 4. Great, so now what we can do is we can use either one of these coordinates along with our value of m equals 4 to find the equation of this line. So what we're going to do here is use the second formula here, set up a y equals mx plus c, and the only letter we don't know now is this letter c that's at the end. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the first coordinate, it doesn't matter which of the coordinates, I'd always pick the coordinates with either both positive numbers or easier numbers. Um, plug it into the equation, so remember x is the first uh, value in this coordinate, y is the second value in this coordinate. So the y value will go here, 7, 
equals the m value we found out before, which was 4, and the 5 value as x goes in here. We don't know what c is, so let's go ahead and work it out. Again, it's appeared at minus 13. It's not always going to be minus 13, believe me. Um, it's just appeared as minus 13 again. So what do we do to write out our final answer? Well, we combine the two bits of work that we've just done. We found y equals, sorry, we found m equals 4, and we found c is minus 13. So let's rewrite out this equation again with these two values in there. And we're going to get y equals 4x minus 13. Okay, the next question is a little bit more tricky and there's a lot more work to it, so let's take it carefully bit by bit. The line y equals 3x minus 9 crosses the x-axis at coordinate a. We're probably going to have to find this coordinate a. Find the equation of the line with a different gradient, 2 thirds, that also passes through a, and write our answer in this form here. So what we need to do first is eventually we're going to look at finding a gradient here, an equation here, two thirds is the gradient, uh, but we don't know where it's going to cross through, this is at a. So what we need to do instead is find this coordinate a, and given that we're told that it crosses the x-axis of this equation at coordinate a, anywhere that crosses the x-axis, say at a point here, is going to be, say, the coordinate 6, 0. But it's this 0 that's important. It's meaning that the y value here is going to equal 0. So what we're going to do, whenever you're told that something crosses the x-axis, we're going to put y equals 0 into the equation of that line to work out what x needs to be. So using this equation, we're going to use y equals 0 because it cuts the x-axis. Move the uh, 9 onto the other side and divide through by 3. So in fact, this coordinate up here is not 6, 0, it's 3, 0. This is our coordinate a. That's where it crosses the x-axis, 3, 0. Now what we need to do is have a look at the second part of this question. Find the equation of the line with a gradient two-thirds that crosses this coordinate. So what we need to do is we need to set up a y equals mx plus c and substitute in our values. So this is y, that's 0. This is m, that's two-thirds. This is x, this is 3, and plus c. So we need to work out what c is going to be. In this case here, times through by 3 and you cancel out to get 0 equals 2 plus c, so c is equal to minus 2. So the equation of our line is going to be y equals the gradient 2 thirds x minus 2, the y-intercept. So our graph is going to look something like, starting at minus 2, it goes up by 2 thirds every time we cross over the x-axis every time we move right by one, sorry. That's not our final answer though, because it wants our final answer to be in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, so we're just gonna rearrange it to make it look a little bit different. What we want is a clue here, is that a, b, and c are integers, so we're gonna have to get rid of any fractions as well. So the first thing I do is subtract y onto the other side, and just so that none of these values here are fractions, Integers is a key word that you'll see time and time again. This means whole numbers, positive or negative. Times through by 3 to get rid of the fraction here, and we get our final answer. 2x minus 3y minus 6 equals 0. So a lot of work there. We had to break down the question independently and work through the bits that we needed to calculate. Okay, a slightly similar type of question. The lines y equals 4x minus 7 and 2x plus 3y minus 21 equals 0 intersect at point A. Point B is at this coordinate here. Find the equation that goes through the line AB. So we've seen how to find intersections of two graphs. We either use a uh, simultaneous equation method of elimination or substitution. In this case here, I think it's probably going to be easier if we substitute in our value for y 
into this point here in our second equation, the y value next to the 3. So replacing that y value with 4x minus 7, and we're going to get this thing here. And now we just need to work out what x is by solving an equation. So group together all your terms, divide through by 14, and you get x is 2. We need to find the coordinate for a though, so now we need to work out what y needs to be, so plug it back into the easier of the two equations, and we get y is 5, 12 minus 7 is 5. So the coordinate a is 3, 5. Now we need to link it to coordinate b and find the equation that goes through these two points here. So we're calling this coordinate 1 and we're calling this coordinate 2. Now let's use the top formula here to work out the gradient. Make sure you bring along all the negatives with you. If you've got x2 is minus 2, then bring along that negative as well to the party and uh, include it in your formula. And we're going to get here uh, 3 over minus 5, and this can be uh, rearranged to minus 3 over 5. So this graph's going to have a negative gradient. For every 1 we go to the right, we can go down by 3 fifths. Or in other words, for every 5 we go to the right, we can go down by 3. Right, so now that we know that m is 3 fifths and we know a coordinate, we can now work out the equation of the line that goes through AB. Um, so let's substitute in the values into y equals mx plus c. So in this case here, we're going to use this coordinate here. So 5, remember, is the y coordinate, 3 is the x coordinate, and 3 minus 3 fifths is the um, gradient. So a bit of rearranging here, we're going to get 34 over 5 is the value for c. So we're going to get a final answer of y equals minus 3 fifths x minus 34 over 5. And times through by 5 just to make the equation look a bit nicer. And we'll get that. And adding both of these bits that are negative here onto the other side. And we'll get 3x plus 5y plus 34 equals 0 as our equation of our line. Now, given that it didn't say whether we had to write it in a certain form, we could have either stopped here or we could have carried on to this form here. If it doesn't say, then both of these forms here are going to be correct. Um, you don't have to mind read the examiner to tell what form they want it in. Right then, your turn to have a go at these questions here. Pause the video and try them out. Right, okay, well done for having a go at these questions then. Let's go to uh, page 94, question 2a. Here we've got two coordinates, so I'll give this a coordinate 1 and a coordinate 2. And the gradient here is going to be 4, so 8 take away 4, divided by 3 take away 2. So that's going to equal 4. So my equation is going to look like y equals 4x plus c because that's the gradient that I've just worked out. And substituting in the easier of these uh, coordinates here, I'll choose the coordinate 2, 4. I'm going to get 4 times 2 here, that's an 8. 4 take away 8 onto the other side, and I get minus 4 equals C. So my final answer here is 4x minus 4. Okay, so hopefully that's familiar to you. If that's a bit tricky for you, then... Make sure you have a go, lots of practice at this, because it will come up time and time again in A-level maths. Right, so the line y equals a quarter x plus 2 meets the y-axis at point B. The coordinate C is minus 5, 3. Find the gradient of the line joining points B and C. So just a reminder, if any point crosses the y-axis, then it has a negative... Sorry, if it crosses the y-axis at point B, then the X coordinate along here is zero. And in this case here, it's really easy to pull off the Y axis intercept here, because that's just the value two. We remember that Y equals MX plus C, the plus C bit is the Y axis intercept. So the point B is zero, two. That's where it crosses the x-axis, 0, because it has no 
um, left or right movement, so it has a zero uh, x coordinate. The point C has the coordinate minus 5, 3. So now I just need to find the gradient of these two points, so I'll call this gradient um, coordinate 1 and coordinate 2. It doesn't matter which way round you call your coordinates. If I could have called coordinate 2B, I could have called coordinate C1, because if it was the other way round, then it would just be either positive or negative on the top and bottom of the fraction. So m is equal to 3 take away 2 over minus 5 minus 0. So in this case here, it's going to be 1 over minus 5, or I would simplify this to minus a fifth. So in this graph here, if we connect b to c, then it's going to start at the coordinate 2, at the coordinate b. For every one we go across, we're going to go down by a fifth. So a very, very, very flat graph here. It will go down like that. Okay, so um, have a go at the exercises in 5C and 5D. Make sure you've had lots of practice with them. Persevere through the difficult questions and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Great, thanks for watching.